Hello and welcome. How are you doing? And then very interesting information that how I can notice and see that my car engine's piston is damaged. And here I have really excellent Ford engine and I have already taken some parts away and now I am lifting the cylinder head away. And now I can almost know that what is, what is of those my cylinder pistons, what is damage. Because I have made compression test and I have noticed that one of these cylinders compression rate is almost zero. That no any compression. And here when we look in here there are those spark plug holes in here and one of those uh, holes gives this compression rate what is this zero. And then now I know that one of these cylinders is like dead but then I like to show that is there piston damage or valve damage. And how I can notice that? Okay, first I take this my cylinder cylinder head away in here and then then we can right away we can do two check and inspections. First is this valve inspection and I I insert this my my cylinder head again in here but now I rotate that in another direction in that way and then we can check that what is this our valve status. And now when we are checking these valves it is easy to see that when we look these areas that if all these valves look like similar like in here this this uh, this shape it is it looks like that all areas parts are in there and then we check and inspect also this X housed area and they look also no any issues there is some corrosion this is also fine everything is fine and now we have made this inspection that our valves they are okay and then we can think that okay if valves are okay then issue is in piston area and then I lift that cylinder head away And then we can look in this piston area and now we are inspecting, in, inspe, make inspection, doing this inspection that what these cylinders look like. And now I take my hand in this fly field in here in that way and when I rotate that these pistons goes up and down. And first we inspect that cylinder number one this one and why this number is number one because number one cylinder is almost always the nearest of this timing belt or timing chain and timing chain runs in here and so this is the number one and then we look in that piston when it is in this up area we check that are these all areas are they looking like clean and also this this very smooth that there is no any any parts missing and, and now I inspect this first cylinder and it looks good and then I rotate again this my fly feel and then we have the second piston and it looks also very clean excellent and then I have this next third third cylinder and then when I look that I can see that hey there is something strange in that array look there is there is some part missing and now I can use my excellent paint 
what is solid marker. If you like to purchase that solid marker, you can go in ebay.com and purchase the solid marker. This is made in Japan and this paints every paint, oily and any areas. And, and there are different colors. I have yellow color, but in here, now I marked that there is some issue. There is hole in there. And that means that now I have some, some, some part missing. And let's go to look that closer, because this is now this my, my whole piston area in here. There is even one part missing. Look. And in that area, it looks that it is not so bad, that only small area is missing. But then, then I take soon this piston away. We can see that what is situation in their inner, and in inner there can be more, more, more bad situation in there. And let's look. And then of course I need to check this final cylinder. That is that also damaged. And when we look, that there's only some corrosion, but this is okay. Okay, so this cylinder number three, it is piston is damaged. And then we look when I take that piston away, that what it looks like. Okay, and then when I am planning to take those pistons out, we need to go to look in here down area. And I have already oil samples away. And then I rotate my engine. And now you can see this engine, this down area. And then when I am planning to take these uh, pistons out, I need to open these uh, connection rods, bearings, these covers. And for that job, I need now this socket what sides is is this uh, is this eight 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 millimeter eight millimeter and it fits in there and then I take my tool there is my friends and then I open this connection rods Connection rods, bolts, and they are actually connection rod bearings. Now I and then I take also the second two pistons away in same line. In that way, and in when when these bolts are ready, they are they look like that. They are specific. This Ford, Ford bolts, connection rod. Now these are ready, and that final fun one is in here. Okay, and now this connection rod is free. It is in here, and then I take the second also. In free and here we can see also those bearing plates and here is the second bearing plate it is in here this is bearing plate and then when I am uh, planning to take those pistons out next I need to move this connection rod in here in down that way. That I insert only hand in here and I press this down using my fingers. Okay, good. Now they are. And then I little bit rotate that crankshaft like this crankshaft's heads away. And then we need a little bit more light. And then when I am planning to press those even more I need some some tool 
And in that way we can use carefully some tool and be very carefully that you don't damage this connection rod area. And in a little bit we can insert a little bit hit that. And in same time when I am carefully hitting that down, I have to be really carefully that I insert my second hand in here down in here because soon this piston piston is dropping down look how it happens now there is this position I insert the hand in here and then carefully carefully okay there is this piston There is this first piston, and then I take the second piston out. And in here. And in that area. Now, now this my second piston is in my hand. Okay, good. And now pistons are in there, and Ford pistons they look like that. Good. Okay, and now when I have take these two pistons away, I can inspect that what is wrong in this my my piston when there is this hole and th that piston there was this hole and when we look at what is there wrong we can see in that area that there is totally there is so deep hole in here that all material is away in that area and this is this is really really bad Damage, and we go to look that closer. We can see that there is this, there is this all material. There is material away in that area, and also in second line. Also, that part is missing, and then even in here, and that means now that when we have this compression in that area, really high compression, and we have in same time hole in here, what goes directly in that area, in outside, I can, in here. That means that all of our compression goes to this oil sump area, and then in out. And that's, this piston is not working anymore. And when we compare that ready piston, we can see that, that what is the difference, that there is everything, every part are left, but there is even parts missing. And what is reason for that kind of damage? I think that there has been happened small welding, that metal, Piston and cylinder head, they have welded together in here because of bad oil and bad oil is, is for that that we have missed and we have missed to replace engine oils regularly in our cars. And that's this regular oil replace is so necessary and also this high quality engine oil, what is like this mobile, mobile one. Okay, and, and what to do if I have that kind of thing, then there is also possibility that if I purchase new piston, then this my engine could work, work in, in some way, even better than in that way that there is hole what goes and now I can show that, that when this air comes in here, it goes directly in here and 
there is even hole in their inner area. That, that in that area, this air can go also away. Look, and this is really bad situation. Really bad situation. Okay, interesting. Okay, and then thank you for watching and have a nice day to you.